Is the International Association of Professional Writers and Editors a legit organization? Or are you about to be scammed out of some money? Hi, my name is Zuli Rain. I am a freelance writer, content creator, and cat mom. I make videos all about how to grow your blogging empire. The reason I'm making this video is because the, oh God, the International Association of Professional Writers and Editors, which I am going to refer to as EAPWAY from now on, um, I kind of got fooled by it, I'll be honest, and I thought other people might want to avoid the same thing. In this video, I'm going to break down what it is, how and why I think they're scammy, and what you might want to know about them as an organization. Let's jump in. What is IAPWE? IAPWE is, as I've said way too many times now, the International Association of Professional Writers and Editors. It's an organization dedicated to providing helpful resources to writers and editors and disseminating helpful ideas and resources across the greater professional community in the form of outreach, blogging, networking, and thought leadership. Basically, from looking at the very outdated looking website, it is a place where writers and editors go to get jobs. The short answer, I don't think it's a legit organization. As I said, I kind of got like scammed by them. And maybe at some point it was a good worthwhile website. Maybe at some point um, writers could use it as a resource, but that that point is not today. And genuinely, even if you're okay paying money, I don't think the resources that they offer are worth the price that they ask. So here's what happened to me. This is my story. A while back, I applied, I was applying to a bunch of freelance writing agency jobs just to get some extra gigs. And I applied to so many, I lost track. I got an email back from one of them saying, uh, let me see if I can get it open. Hi, Zuli. Thank you for submitting your application for our content writer position. We're delighted to offer you the position. The pay for this position is $10 per 100 words. This is, I mean, it's on the low end, 10 cents a word is pretty low, but I was happy with that because I can write very quickly. So I was like, great, and a source of income. Um, then it says, if you are interested in this position, please complete the short registration form here. Now, if you read this email, if you even look at who sent it, would you have guessed this was from Yapway? No, of course not. They don't say it anywhere on there. And in fact, it wasn't until I actually clicked on that link and tried to register that I found out that I hadn't gotten accepted for a position at all this was just an offer to get me a membership for Yapway. This is when I was like, the red the red flags were going off because this to me was a deeply disingenuous email. They were promising me, they were promising me a job, they were offering me a membership instead. Those are that's super scammy to me. That's a huge red flag. But things got worse. So I logged on and I created my profile and I thought, you know what, even if it's a scam or like even if this isn't exactly what they said it was maybe I can still use it as a job board to get jobs. Like I Googled Yapway, a lot of people said like, oh yeah, it's great. So I was like, whatever, I'll just try. As I created my profile, there was no way to even create a free profile without paying for membership through PayPal. That was red flag number two. Even for free membership, you had to sign up for a free trial of this, um, of this membership and you had to put in your PayPal information. So if you're at this point, just stop, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's very hard to cancel, which I'll get into. If you actually go to their, to their website, they say, we provide free resources for our members. You can't provide a free resource if your members are paying for it. That's not a free resource. That's a paid resource. I was infuriated. So at this point, I was like, I shouldn't do this, but I decided to persevere for science. So you're welcome if you're watching this. I signed up, I checked out the job board. There was nothing there that wasn't on Upwork or Fiverr or LinkedIn. I checked out the plagiarism checker. It didn't catch one instance of plagiarism that I checked. And I just, I didn't see any good tools that were worth $7.20 a month that I couldn't get somewhere else for free. Then we got to yet another red flag. I tried to cancel. On both of the emails I received when I signed up, there was no way to cancel. There was no instructions for canceling. On the website, I couldn't find instructions on how to cancel. The only way I was able to find it was by Googling Yapway cancel membership, which was a very popular search term. And then you have to actually fill out a request or go through PayPal to get it canceled. There's no easy way to cancel. It's hard, it's a pain. They've done this intentionally to keep your money. So I filled out the form. And I did. And do you know what happened? They said, oh, that's so weird. 
this transaction ID doesn't exist. So then I had to fight with PayPal to get PayPal to cancel it. It was just, it was just red flag city all over the shop. And then as I was going through the process of, before I even got to the process of canceling, they were using very aggressive marketing language and techniques to try to make me feel FOMO, like by clicking this box, you 100% give up your rights to awesome content and things like that. The kind of stuff you expect from scammy websites, not the, not, not an organization that calls itself the International Association of Professional Writers and Editors. It may have been legitimate at one point, but it certainly no longer is. In summary, they sent me a misleading email offering me $40 an hour for this job thing. Um, that was not a job at all. It was um, an application to submit a membership form. They made me sign up for a free trial in order to join. That was 100% not free. They made it very difficult intentionally to figure out how to cancel. They tried to guilt me out of canceling. I was able to cancel, but there are a lot of reports of people actually having to petition PayPal to cancel their membership. So this for me is a zero out of 10. Do not engage, do not buy membership. Don't even go on the website. There's nothing there for writers or editors, professional or otherwise. As far as I can tell, this is a scam organization designed to get your money and not provide any useful resources. Now I've been wrong in the past, so I would love to know if anybody has any good experience with this website, let me know in the comment box. Um, I would love to hear it if, if, if that has been you. So thank you very much for watching this video. If there are any other organizations that you want me to check out for science, please send them my way. I loved making this video. I didn't love having to cancel my membership through PayPal, which was very stressful, <laughs> but I did it and I'm glad I did because I got to do this video. So leave your comments in the comment box below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody. Happy Friday.